Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and the Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. Each day I have chosen a composer who has had a role to play with both organizations, and today we're moving to Finland for the composer Jakko Mentejärvi, a wonderful, creative, interesting composer, particularly of choral music, but later one little piano piece. Jakko I first met when the ensemble singers had a tour in Sweden back in the 90s, and we did a piece of his called El Hambo, which was a satirical piece that was to show off uh, a bad Swedish folk band. And so the piece was in five, four, you know, so instead of being a one, two, three, four, it was like it had an extra beat, a one, two, three, four, five, one, two, that kind of idea. He wrote this piece, which we performed many times. We did it on Prairie Home Companion, and then we did it for the American Choral Directors National Convention in Chicago. That was back in the late 90s, and I remember that very well because afterward, this woman came up to me. She said, oh, that piece is fantastic. We need to sing this down in Texas for our statewide choral event, which meant that each school in Texas had to learn this piece, and then there was a competition which schools would be allowed to be part of it. So I gave her the uh, an information of the publisher in Helsinki, and I'll never forget, she called the publisher and said, I would like to order this music. And he had about 400 copies on hand, and he asked her how many she needed, and she said, uh, 20,000. <laughs> Pause. He found and published 20,000 copies, and they sang it all over Texas. He was, um, of course, thrilled, and the piece has been done everywhere. It's a charming, charming piece. He also wrote a piece that we have performed at Vocal Essence called Canticum. Uh, it's the, it, the actual title is Canticum Calamitatis Maritime. The piece had its origin because, I don't know if you remember, there was a, a ship that sank just coming out of the harbor on its way to Sweden, and it, it sank with many, many lives lost. In Finland, at that time, they had a tradition every Saturday for five minutes. At the end of the day, there would be a news summary in Latin. Where else but Finland would that happen? So for five minutes, the main stories of the week would be broadcast in Latin. And so this piece combines a uh, narrator who is chanting the words that would have been heard in Latin, and the choir sings this miserere text and then goes into the psalm, out of the depths have I cried to thee, O Lord, and it's the whole psalm about they that go down to the sea in ships. So what I'm gonna play for you is just a little bit at the beginning, the atmosphere that's created. The choir begins by whispering, but then they start singing Domine, Miserere, and you hear, And then it gets bigger. And then more voices join in. And more.
gradually the piece gathers momentum, it gets bigger and bigger until finally at the very end, I'm jumping to that, and it says, and they cried unto the Lord. This is all in Latin. They cried unto the Lord to ask for help. So here is the big ending, which then goes back and you hear that music that was like the Misa Rere at the beginning. The ensemble singers loved singing that piece. And I do remember one of our performances, which was at the Swedish Institute, and Osmo Venska, the, Swed the Finnish conductor, was there, and he said, that's an amazing piece. So if you have a chance, find it, because it's a very poignant, beautiful work. Around the world, you would find that there is more written and spoken about composers of symphonies and operas than it is about choral music. But choral music is such a unique and wonderful thing. And here is what uh, Jaco Mentiervi wrote. If I say that choral music is a marginal genre, it sounds like I'm being bitter, but it's no more than the truth if one considers what the public at large sees as the mainstream genres in classical music. In Finland, choral music is still perceived as largely an amateur pursuit that is not expected to have any particularly great artistic ambitions. A composer focusing on choral music will have a very different public profile from a composer of orchestral music or opera. Mentiarvi always begins with a text. And this, of course, for him is most important because that provides the impetus for him and the inspiration. He also, by the way, is the most well-known translator into English of any person in Finland. Any printed material that's about choral music if it has a little, it's in Finnish and then it's translated, the translations are always by Jaco Mentiervi. Here's a piece that's uh, for piano. I asked him, have you got something that I can play that's only piano? He said, well, of course, my music is choral. But early on, I did in 1986 uh, have to write incidental music for a theater production. And I did write a little piano piece called 
tango from Mr. Boo. Here it is. Have a wonderful day.